she's not there. There she is. <laughs> Hi. 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 Why don't we sell cookies? Because we don't have time to teach you guys about cookies and then sell cookies. It's impossible. That's true. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Sally. Hey, June. Hello, Joseph. Diana. Oh, I like this name. How do you pronounce it? Somebody please try. Shakendria? Oh, I like that. Hello, Maybe Karen. I massacred it. Hey, Karen. Hi, Joseph. Hey, Welcome, everybody. Tiame. Welcome. So I'm guessing I start, Amber? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I might even have to leave and come back in because I'm connected to the wrong Wi Fi. So, okay. You know, okay. You know the it's joys nice. of live as usual, guys. Mm -hmm. So. I'm just going to do the little camera dance here. Oh, Jennifer. Welcome, hey, everyone. Oh, look at these. I love Hi, them. Henry. Oh, these are adorable. So um, recently, I'm not uh, switching over, but I just like to show you guys, you know, different products and such. What and do that's you mean you're not switching over? Well, what are you trying to say? You know, like, I mean, I'm not, not doing royal icing anymore. I just oh, mean. What's this? Isn't this royal icing? No, this, oh, this is, is fun. This oh, is okay. fun. But I do like to show you guys, uh, you know, other stuff so that, you yes. know, everybody, there's, you know, uh, mediums can be interesting sometimes to switch it up. Anyway, so I found these molds. And if you guys have been watching the lives, I used the first ones. It's the sugar skulls I did. And then I did these Halloween ones. And so today, the exciting thing is the other ones, because it's such short notice and they were from AliExpress, you wouldn't get them in time for the holiday. But Christmas, you have enough time if you want to order these uh, molds. So I do have the supply list in my coffee shop. And the design there on the left is their image from the listing. And then on the right there, that's my version. And they actually have two other designs so you can see kind of kawaii critters and then the one oh, on the, the, the reindeer in this on the left. Yes. Really and, nice. and there's more even on the listing. There's a beautiful, ugly sweater. There's hats and stockings and different things. So I'm going to give you guys a little um, kind of uh, what how I did it. So let's just look at the molds first here quickly. So I have several but i'm only using these three today we do have limited time so what it is is it's an acrylic plaque and they laser etch the design and in this particular uh version here there give, give me two seconds i'm getting a message from amber she needs a code <laughs> thank to you enter the 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 live so i'm I have to do it. It's not Howdy, a message. Howdy, Jeremy. Hi, Byron. Hi, Byron. I cannot ignore the message. Thank All you right. for Thank you. subscribing, Art and Sketch. And so they laser etch the design. And here there's different depths. So, for example, the ornaments are the deepest part of the design. And then here we have a little reindeer. And then ho, ho, ho. I, oh, I have four here today. And then Santa. Okay. So you, I used the Halloween ones on Tuesday to make uh, cookies. I pressed the dough in cookies. I did not experiment with cookie dough with these Christmas versions. All right. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you guys what I did. So if we look at their pro, their uh, beauty shot, whatever that they have. So what they're doing is they're essentially pressing in the colored fondant inside the mold and i have to say i did it there you see those little red dots that's little pieces of red fondant it's an absolute nightmare so it's very nice if you're all about arts and crafts and you just want to do a project but if you're actually trying to crank out some cookies this is not fast mm -hmm. so i'll just show you here so this is the the green uh, tree version so you're able you have to kind of push your little fondant 
color bits, push them into the hole, and they actually have to be indented. They can't be bumped out or else when you roll, you actually cause like a squishing out. It, and then once you're, you've squished the colors in together, they're very hard to separate should you not get a good roll. So it's really, uh, you know, for the time it takes to paint them, I don't think it's worth that effort. And here I'm just using a marker to um, paint the trunk and I'm, I'm darkening the little like tree bits and then I'm going to paint the garland. So that's the tree version. And I just wanted to show you guys kind of like how they're getting their result, but it's very meticulous and uh it's not really user friendly for a lot of cookies is there any any questions no. we did have a question and it's funny um that debbie is asking that because i do have an almond paste here has anyone ever used almond paste i'd love to try but i'm not sure of texture but almond paste i don't know if you ever have you have you tried almond paste mark i have i have it's very very good i think probably what you could do is knead together a 50 50. so take fondant well, almond, yeah. knead yeah, it together mm -hmm. and you'll get the flavor but you'll get a much more fondant ish consistency what i have Let's here see. is actually marzipan so marzipan and almond paste there are two different things but um yeah so that's what i would kind of do all right so how do we get if we look at my santa there how do we get that to happen and my reindeer how do we get that to happen quickly and efficiently so my cookie brain was working over time trying to think of a solution for this so here's my little video so there's the the mold i've got it on my work surface and that's a crayon so crayola crayons are for infants little kids so they're non-toxic so i'm just basically scratching in the design and then I'm using my exacto and I'm able to cut the sections by color and it's again we've I've done this before with the royal icing cookies but this has to be exactly the right size and so I'm trimming the actual like embossed drawing of Is this the stuff? no it's just paper this just paper and so then I'm left with these sections you see here there's his santa's face here is santa's nose and the hat you can do multiple versions for the each color and because you're airbrushing it paper works for airbrushing so yeah. here it is and then let's just bring one into the shot and i'll show you here so I've got um, here, I'm, I'm not going to, because I've got so many things here on my counter, I'm not going to actually like roll, but I'll just show you guys the video. I did show it on Tuesday. So you're basically using white fondant and you're just rolling it into the embossing plaque. And you want to have it a certain thickness. If it's too thin, it's like it becomes even more stretchy and will get warped when you pull it out of the of the actual mold. So you see here, I'm gently pulling it out. And I found that if it got too stretched, you could actually like recompact it together, like repush it together. Mm -hmm. And so now it comes with the cookie cutters that match each plaque and you can buy them separately if you don't want the cutter, but the cutters are not what's expensive. And really I've seen these on Etsy and different stores. They're running about 20 to $25 each on AliExpress. They were six to seven. So really, uh, and that's six to seven with the cutter. So a big a big difference yeah. debbie i would still even be marzipan i would try um and add uh, you know play with the ratio of fondant and marzipan because marzipan it's it's um gets sticky it gets a bit sticky i find uh over like when you know when it when it gets warm your hands are warm yeah, so, okay, it's yeah. Sticky. so yeah i would just play with it it's beautiful so here you can see that i used it with a, a plaque cutter 
And if you wanted to do this for a round cake, all you have to do is, is dry it on a dummy, a, a cake dummy. So you can buy a foam fake cakes. And so if you mm -hmm. always kind of make a six inch cake or you always make an eight inch cake, you can get these dummies to dry your fondant bits on and you can kind of put needles and, and hold it in place. And once it's dry, you'll have it to secure onto the front of the- You could make an ornament out of this. You, you know could. what I mean? Like you could you could actually use it for non-edible with the- with the, For sure, polymer clay? Yeah, yeah, polymer clay. What's that other clay The uh, comes in the block? Yeah, I'm sure you know. Yeah, just some whatever craft medium. Yeah, whatever craft clay, I think it would make for such a nice, such nice ornaments too. So for the fit, you need to have this flipped over. So the wax side has to be down. I did check like with my finger to see if the wax was going to rub off on the thing. And it wasn't, you know, I was rubbing so hard that it was well like embedded in the paper. And now I'm using magnets on both sides of the paper. So there's a magnet kind of behind it. And that's to weight down this paper because I'm using the airbrush and airbrush creates wind. And so we don't want the paper to fly around. Now, because this is not a flat surface, it's more difficult to not get under spray. So you're going to have to come in and like put your fingers and kind of press the paper a little bit. It's a little bit finicky, but I'm, I'm for sure it's faster than using um, a paintbrush. So now I'm just putting in some brown in my airbrush gun. Joe's uh, supplies are can be found in Marlene's coffee shop. Guys, if you're looking for supplies and links to the supplies that Marlene is so, using today, you can visit her coffee shop. Link is on the screen. So here I'm just dusting in the brown. Here I can see it's pulling down and so it's more away from the design. So I, you're better to kind of like, you see I'm pretty much in here. I'm not right at the edge there. You can kind of look at it and see if you're getting the design, the color where you have want you, it. Have you, have you taken the plunge? Of what? AliExpress. Oh, not me. I've, I'm swimming. I'm in it. Next, next. <laughs> you, you, you are swimming. <laughs> so when it comes to painting these, ideally you let them set up a little bit so that the fondant has time to, I want to say like crust a little bit like royal icing because fondant, fresh fondant is quite soft and pliable. And so if you're trying to come in and paint and the thing is freshly, you know, formed, you're not going to be able to like press and, and be able to really like color in there. So I'm using markers. I find that markers work really well. This pack here is the most kind of color variety. It's by Drip Color. If you buy the dusts that you add kind of uh, alcohol to, they are extremely expensive. We're talking like five to ten dollars per color. Whereas this, I think it's twenty five, thirty dollars, and you're getting all the colors. Some of us are drowning exactly. <laughs> and so, and the markers, you're not always going back to the liquid to dip. That motion, you know, going from the cookie to the pal to the paint palette takes time. Whereas when you're with the marker. You can just run through everything. You're, that you might think it's silly. That motion right there takes time. So if you can, you know, eliminate. It's like switching your piping bag. Every time you put it down and pick it up, it takes time. So now I'm using this is an Americolor, and I'm just touching the little black area for the eyes. You see how cute that is. And then I'm going to grab the paint to do the little cheek area. Oh, he's the cutest. And then there's actually some brown, darker markers. I'm telling Marla that these would be great for ornaments. What do you think? I, but if you do do yeah. that, if you do do ornaments, don't use them again after for your cookies because. Oh, yes, absolutely not. You, need, you need to get another set. Yes. So there's you, this or, little you, smile. You could use, the, you could use the, the, the flower dough. Oh, the salt, yes. But I don't know if the yeah. salt. 
because the, the granules can be quite oh big. yeah that's true that can be quite big yes so now this is um i like this particular marker it's a little bit it's not obviously like the sponge i was using on tuesday the cosmetic sponge but there is like it, it is big and so you can easily stay on the line i don't know if you can see there and here there's like little hairs so I'm just sideways and my marker is not going to go inside. And so I'm just getting surface coverage and I'm able to come in and just color these little like hairs that they have in the design. And I'm going to finish outlining the little deer here. This is like what you did. Um... On, you know, on Tuesday, how you yeah. you did the magic with the with the ink. You exactly. Know, that reminds me of of that, but with a with a marker. So now I'm going to do the little scarf. You see, I've cut it again, so I've got the little scarf area and the little ears. So I've got multiple airbrush guns, but if you you so only we have, have we have a few questions, so okay. So this is Denise. Marlene, do you add liquid to Wilkins White when you use to use it in airbrush? Usually no, but sometimes, you know, like as time goes on, it'll thicken or something. You can, but generally I don't need to. And the more you dilute it, the, um, the more kind of translucent it becomes. If you want a really opaque white, um, ideal... Now I just put this pink in my um so in the, my the markers were by drip color, right? You were using. I'm just gonna Yeah, ask no, this. these are Americolor, these particular oh, colors. Color. Okay, so look at how pink. Look at the difference of this lid. Can you see the lid? And look at this oh, color. Yeah, it's very wow. pale, like yeah. very that's horrible. Pastel. I'm not gonna put that on my cookie. <laughs> I don't wanna ruin it. Oh, this is funny. Really? That color. is true. You know how 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 in all time cartoons the drunk always had a big red nose rudolph was really confusing me as a kid because of those cartoons <laughs> well so, let's assume this uh, cute little thing it's it, you know it's not so now i'm nose. just uh dusting the ear area so i'm doing darker at the um, closest to the head there and you see like once you're you've got a few done you can crank them out hello sophia we do have a question from uh, um and is asking she missed the crayon earlier oh i'll um, replay it i'll replay it in a second use the crayon okay yeah so it's just crayola crayons that you take off the paper wrapping on so crayons that you would get at Walmart or whatever, crate like child stuff, like very inexpensive. I think a box of crayons a dollar. And now you see I'm able to airbrush the little scarf area. And if you want, like if you have the, the marker set, if you have blue, you can come in. There's raised lines and you can darken portions of the scarf. Oh, yeah. You see? Once you have those little shields done, it really goes quite fast. And you can see I'm dusting so lightly, the paper doesn't get oversaturated and it works very well, you know? So here, let me show you again, the video of my me coloring the... the layers. So obviously you need the, like the holes upwards i'm resting regular printer paper that i've cut you know cookie sized and with my wax crayon i'm just rubbing it on and it easily like traces the design and then this is my pen blade and i'm cutting color by color so in this particular case the scarf is far away from the ears so i could cut those two things without worrying about overspray or whatever you don't have to have one paper for each color. You just need those colors to be far away from each other. So there's the reindeer. He's pretty much done. The other one that I had 
Let, let's see the difference here. I think he's pretty much done. Oh, here I have a second section. So that's if you want to do You're a little out of the frame, darling. Okay, I'll bring him back in. So if you want to have like shading, you know, like a section that's darker of the same color, because if I was to airbrush here, well, it would do a fade on both sides. So if you want to have a more controlled kind of section that's darker, you have to do these little shields. And so here is the little hair kind of parts. Oh, I was about to shoot him with some blue. He's going to get a mohawk for Halloween. All right. <laughs> and so you see here, I'm able to darken. Now I want it, to see it with the blue. <laughs> so do you see? Now I was able to really darken in, in a very specific area. All right. So Hello, Veronica. There's, that's done. So let's just. So yes, she's using one of the times I've done that she's coloring. Yes, indeed. So there's the tree and let's look again at, at theirs. Where's my picture that they did? So you can see here, they have the white perimeter. Hi Camille. So they have the white perimeter around because they pushed in that green fauna in the hole. But I'm telling you, it's so long to do that. And it was not uh, flawless every time because sometimes you do some miss rolls and then I'm, I was picking out the red out of the green. So yeah, a nightmare, don't do that. Not if you have a hundred. So here's my same thing. I have my little, like you see the crayon on the back. So I've traced out the, um, the little tree here. And where's my blue? Now I can put green in that. So you don't always have to wash out your airbrush guns completely. Some like certain colors work with the uh, other color. So you can... So if you were to airbrush without the shield, it would be fine, but you you won't like get the white perimeter, right? Because you're coming in and, and you're painting essentially the whole thing. So now I'm just kind of looking to see that it's in position. And now I'm just going to airbrush the tree here. Hi, Debbie. Now, airbrush color is reactivated by water. So if you come in with the markers on top of airbrush, usually I think it will kind of like get dingied up, especially if you were, let's say, color on top of green with a yellow marker. Black, no problem. But you don't want to come in like with a yellow. So there you're getting kind of like it looks like a watercolor thing. Let's see what the red looks like on this. So the brown would work no problem on the green. Oh, the red is fine. If you use metallics, the colors coat really well on top of a darker color. So if you were to come in with gold. Hey, Diana. And then you can come in with the marker and do the, the little darker, there's like little raised elements. So the holidays, it's it's you know it's fun but you also need to work like it needs to go somewhat fast so that you right there yeah how many weeks to christmas is it i was oh. like 60 <laughs> days the other day and not oh, like this gosh. week oh it's gosh is it? well i mean it's already october 22nd so that's two months wow and now i'm just cut coloring in the trunk you see, and I've got the marker kind of sideways. You see the trunk here is the same height as the tree. So if I was to be pushing in the fondant in there, it would be a nightmare at this particular area. Like it's not, like here, the, the ornaments, they're a little bit up, but the other, oh my gosh, I think it would not. So it's go. nine Fridays. Okay, I'm officially freaked out. It's not so, Friday, so I missed a little bit of the color here, so I'm just there. So you can see it if you've hit the right spots, you know. So here you can see the difference. I actually like the airbrushed one. I don't know. What do you guys so think? So there is this question for you, Amber, and for um, Marlin as well. And it's about painting on cookies. So um, is the, Amber, do you, do you think... 
is painting on the cookie really challenging or simple? Well, it depends what you're making, I think. It can be really difficult if you're doing a detailed cookie, like some of my Halloween ones that you might have seen, the the cat silhouette and the pumpkin scene. Those those can get tricky. But you know, something like a simple watercolor wash is very easy. Yeah, that's what Marlon did a couple of weeks ago, right? Mm -hmm. So you had the, the same same question for you, Mark. Yeah, well, I, I don't undertake Amber's projects. I watch her <laughs> and I say, oh my God. It's like, I'm not good at painting. That's not my element. So I, I kind of like, you know, I'll touch a few little details, but it's not the thing that it's not my um, area of expertise. Thank you, Jeremy. Bye, Jeremy. Jeremy. Thanks for stopping by. So that's, that's, oh, the other one I'll show you. So we've got the tree, Santa. I have the video here to show you guys Santa. I, I loaded it. So we looked at the tracing that, so here is Santa. So the same thing here, I've got the shields to protect. So we have the hat <laughs> color and the skin color, and then the eyes, uh, some marker to get the, the little um, eyeballs. And then I, if you look at the hat carefully, there's a little bit of detail. So I painted those little details in, um, in gold. But oh, here I got a little bit of, um, of the skin color on his eyebrows, so I was just using my white marker to whiten up his eyebrows. And then there's the shield once again for that. Um, and that's his fat, like that's it. Very quick. Oh, that's pretty. What gold is that? That is the, what's the brand here? It's, um, Roxy Rich. It's the Roxy so Rich. Nice. I brought paintbrushes over. Here, I just wanted to. Sh so here's the ho 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 that you could pair with that um, Santa. Now, because the um, you see, it's not covering. It's not giving a really nice uh, background. So you can actually come. Is this yellow or? Hey, am I dreaming? <laughs> what? Look, at, look at this color on this side. Oh, and look at the color on this that side. That's green. That's yeah. a bit it's green. You're not colorblind or anything. I'm like, huh? That is so green. Just, that is so strange. So I'm just adding some yellow base because the white is so, like, uh, the white is white. <laughs> okay, so okay. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a, of a backbone, I want to say. So that when I come in with my gold here, that it's a little bit more punchy so that it's not so washed out. And so these are the ho ho ho's that you can pair with Santa. And then here, let's do the, You can see, or I don't know if you can, I can hear my marker rubbing on it. Like they dried overnight and the fondant is not like hard, 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 but it's got a surface on it so that I can kind of not, I'm not pressing, but just so that I don't create like a dent in it. And then here, well, it's kind of like a, a stripey thing. And if you wanted, you could do the... The shield. The shield on this would be tricky because of the hole in the O. But there's ho ho ho. Ho ho ho. The tree. You could, you know, and these could go in front of tree of uh, cakes, like I said. You could use them with plaques or whatever cookie cutters you want. So that's it. Great. Beautiful. So in the supply list in the coffee shop. Where's the, where's your camera number? All right, so here's the thing. I have it set up. I got to do it from my phone today, but I'm going to have to like mute the computer because I don't have my headphones for this. So I'm oh. getting an echo. Okay, so you're going to talk while we see your hands. Maybe, we'll just try this. Hang on. Okay, awesome. 
If she can't talk, we'll narrate. Let's do this. We haven't had so much I mean, fun. Can you hear me? Oh, we can see. Oh, wait. Okay, we're good. Can I add, can I add you? Except, no. Are we getting echo? Say something? No, you can't. Okay, that's fine. We see it. Okay. That is a cookie. So it looks like we are going to decorate some orange cardamom cookies. Can you, hear us? can you hear us? Can you do thumbs up if you can hear us? Okay, excellent. Excellent. So she can hear us. That's good. <laughs> and I can see uh, maybe it's a turkey. So she's using her icing in the bag. <laughs> okay. Oh, she's massaging it because it's separated. Yay. Okay. It's separated. When was the last time we did this before? This is fun. Okay. So we're going to be guessing oh, what she but Can I just interrupt you, Amber? Two seconds. I want to mention, guys, that at Global Belly, all the kits are 20% off, spooky 20 for 20% 20 off if you want to head over there. Um, and, you know, there's still time for you to get the Halloween kits in time for the holidays. So if you want to check that out. All right, Amber, ready, set, decorate. So here she's skipping a petal so that they don't all melt together. So she wants yes. a separation between her feathers. And she's it looks like she's going to do wet on wet, right? Yeah. So I think she's using I, I think that it's fluid enough so she can perform the perform <laughs> do the wet on wet. And I'm and almost I'm gonna go look, but I'm almost positive she's done this on YouTube. Uh, a version of this if you want to see her explanation i don't know if she's speaking in that particular video but i'm going to go hunt for it and put it in the description box in the comments you know this reminds me of uh, balloons <laughs> also you know the, the whatever they call the balloons shape okay so she's now getting other icing and it looks like it's red. Love your nails again. So guys, those of you who are just joining us, we are having some difficulties here today, but look at Amber, she's plowing through like a pro. you know? Exactly. It's a visual yeah. medium. It doesn't visual matter. Medium, that exactly. It doesn't know, you know, sometimes we can kind of figure out what's going on. If there is a sound issue or something, sometimes it's, you know, out of our control. So she's making short lines across, spacing them about half inch or something like that. I found them. So she has the tutorial on her blog. <laughs> So I'm popping in the link. This is uh, Amber's tutorial for a, a version of these. They're very close. And uh, if you want to check it out, and she's got it all written out. Oh, and there's a video. Well, so now she's added, adding brown between the red lines. Striping oh, it up. Wet on wet is one of my favorite techniques. And I think Amber will agree with that. She also likes that wet on wet. And look now, it everything changes, right? Once you start pulling that scribe through the icing. Yeah. 
Yeah, her her. I think it's because she's on her phone. Her res is a little compromised, but they're still beautiful, Amber. Yes, Karen. This this um, um, seashell is also great for for um, turkeys. Yes, it's a great shape for it. She's uh, she's taking it out. Oh, she's she's going to reconnect. It's just like the, it's so oh, bad. bad. It's so bad. Thanks so much for the spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. I don't know why it's so awful, but it's not yeah. awful. Stop it. We don't use that word in the, during the. I mean, you can period. like barely see what I'm doing on there. No, we can see. We can see. The thing I is. I think you need to. You, I need to remind you when I was uh, filming from, um, you know, last year when I was doing. You couldn't see anything. Yeah. Yeah, you were doing great. All right. Well, we'll it. try it again. Sorry for the uh, delay here, everybody. Everybody understands. So if you guys uh, need like an explanation because she doesn't have her audio, like I, I put the, you can look in the feed and I put the link to her blog post where she did a version. So they're similar, it's pretty similar um, with regards to the marbling of the feathers and stuff. So she's got it all explained. Okay. But you guys are doing a great job explaining what I'm doing. <laughs> it's like exactly right. Okay, excellent. Now, right, so uh, a reminder, are you, yeah. are you ready? No, no, go ahead. Okay, so just a reminder, you can get all of these yummy, not, not the cook, well, can you can they get cookies as well? Or is it the kit that comes with the mix? This is the pumpkin mix, right? Yeah, well, it comes with just the mix, and then there's instructions on how to make how it a pumpkin make spice pumpkin. version. And this is available in Amber's um, Global Belly Shop, along with um, other cookie decorating tutorials. And Amber just released this beautiful Halloween gingerbread house. Have you guys oh, seen it? Thank you. <laughs> I love All it. Right. We'll try it again, muting okay. myself. Fingers crossed, mm -hmm. Amber. It doesn't seem like it's a day if one of us doesn't have some sort of a, a technical issue, you know? It's always gotta be, yes. It makes life interesting, huh? Oh, look at that. It's pretty. It's beautiful. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Who is trying to do Are you trying to do it? Okay. So you're setting it, she's setting it aside because she wants that to crust and then she can make more feathers. Because if it's not crusted, then two feathers are going to just blend together and it will be one layer. <clears throat> I believe this is like a, what do you think, Mar? Is this like golden yellow? I think that's egg yolk yellow, if I egg had to yellow? Okay. do a guess. Exactly. Love and hate technology. I mean, it's amazing. Imagine uh, Amber's in New York state. I'm in, uh, you know, Montreal, Quebec, Canada, hands in Spain, and we're decorating together live. It's crazy, but there are some little glitches that, you know, keeps everything exciting, keeps us on our toes. Oh, thanks, Marisol. So now she's using this crack to shape the icing going towards the edge and kind of, you know, making it nice and neat. Your dime is very nice here. <laughs> Your worst cookie will be the best cookie most people will ever do or see. Yes. It, it's club soda and that is said to glow, but I did not have great success with it myself. 
and it tastes horrific. So if you put it in, in large quantities, in your jello, for example, it will taste gross. Marisol is asking, can you talented humans tell us, <laughs> humans tell us all about um, any tips to avoid color bleed, uh, col color bleed and craters? So, Mar, go. <laughs> go. Well, I think um, a big one that could be maybe a quick fix is not all just the brand of food color you're using. They're not all created equal. So, you know, we're all in different parts of the world and have access to different materials. And some products are just more susceptible than others. So that's a first. And then the next is sometimes people tend to really dump it in. They don't like, you know. Uh, you can go easy at first and the color will intensify. It, it kind of like darkens with time. So you don't have to put a crazy amount to get your dark colors. I think those are like easy ways yeah. to address that problem. And then if your icing is too runny, if you make icing that is too runny, it can also kind of lead yeah. to those problems. Now, yeah. cratering is something that, you know, everybody kind of struggles. Oh, look at this one. This is really, this reminds me of a peacock. This one's really nice, yeah. I've, I've read that the peacock is new unicorn or something. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, I I've been making a peacock for years. I know, I know. I'm like, I was like, this is up your alley. So uh, uh, to avoid craters, you can, um, there are a few things, right? One of the things that everybody's doing these days, it's uh, creating a support, like a beam kind of underneath like on, on, a, on a cookie, either it's a dot or it's a zigzag line or something like that. And then you let it crust and then you flood the section. And that crusted area, it's going to keep the icing from sinking in. You can also use thicker icing, puffy icing. Um, but it does take some practice to right, to use the really puffy icing to make sure that it doesn't crust too fast on you. So you have to work quickly. Oh, I really like this color combination. It's quite nice. I think uh, you could do the turkey head and body on um, parchment paper. If you want to get like maybe a little bit of a head start, if you want to work a little bit faster. And then you could pop them on your tails. The holidays are so hectic. We're all trying oh, to do it all. So Debbie, this is interesting. So the, the Debbie is saying that also sugar can uh, be a factor when it comes to um, color bleed. So maybe, yeah, perhaps also that could affect how. And I recently uh, ran out of my meringue powder and used a different brand just because I didn't feel like going to the store and I had it. You know, I get samples sometimes and my cookies overnight i wake up i look at them they were just completely ruined the colors were all blended into each other which i had oh and my jelly bean was completely melted you know i oh, use yeah. jelly beans oh yes yes oh, that's very strange very yeah. so so i personally like to use emery brand chef master um raw gel so it's uh, but mostly i think emery color brand i use for for, for to color my icing so those are pre-made uh, eyes. I think Wilton makes those eyes. And yes, you can buy I have them here. Like I have them here. Aye, aye. This is how Very small they cute. are. Can see? Yeah. They taste yeah. similar. You know those bracelets that we used to have and they were little candies and you'd eat there? That's what they taste like, those eyeballs. Yes. Beautiful. Super hey, cute. tricky. And little... He looks, he looks worried. He looks like he's worried. He knows what's coming. <laughs> he hopes, he hopes it's a vegan. He he hopes oh, it's there, a vegan oh, how beautiful they are. I like that each one is different. So you could actually use these as table setting cookies that you Oh, yes. Nice. You know, maybe just put an initial on, on, on his uh, trunk or whatever you call the belly or something. Or you could wrap them and put a tag. 
Yeah, absolutely. All his little wings. Everybody's loving it. Everybody's loving it. Oh, Elizabeth, they had six, 36 peacocks. Wow. You know, peacocks are, are um, they're very narcissistic. Um, they really just love looking at, right? They really enjoy looking at themselves. In a, if, mm -hmm. if you ever catch them looking in the mirror or something, they really like to like pose. And, I would imagine the barn would need mirrors. I didn't know that well, that not, was but I mean, you know, I mean, they, Yeah, they do, the they do like themselves quite a bit. Oh. <laughs> Very cute turkeys. Everybody's like, like loving it. Yes, Paula Amber is uh, taking a, <laughs> an hour of quiet. <laughs> she she has some uh, um, audio issues, so we're trying to compensate get her head and think what she would say. <laughs> Yeah, technical issues. That's all. We've been doing live streams for over a year now, oh, so we're sure. we're able to. Oh, darling, so year and a half, year and a half, year and a half. It's it's been a it's been a while, but you know it's always something. Now she's doing a waddle. She's doing a waddle with red oil icing. Before you do the waddle, beak should be crust. Beak should be crusted, so it's not going to you know blend all together. Okay. Perfect. She's done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're gonna hear her beautiful voice. Yes. Are we? She's still. She's. Miriam. Oh, Hi. There, there, there. Oh, wow. that was painful. Thank you for bearing with me with that. <laughs> it's. Oh, it was. Uh, I'm sorry. It was painful. It didn't. It didn't look painful at all. <laughs> very natural and very calm. Thanks. Yes, well, it's annoying because we prep. It's a lot of prep for the lives. And then you arrive ready to go with all your preparations and the universe has something else planned for you. Yeah. So. Oh, so, the, so, um, so there is a peacock. They do have a... Is there, do they have a logo as a peacock? Yeah. 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 yeah? Okay. But it's a very loose interpretation of a peacock. Of peacock, mm -hmm. right? It's like, anyway, yeah. Oh, we'll thank you, Sally. Something. Well, thanks everybody for joining us. And uh, sorry you had to suffer there, Amber. I know that. <laughs> no, thanks guys for narrating and putting. So I'll put it in down. again. I think I still have it. I'll put it back again. So here is Amber's post, and there is a video there. And this is uh, from my, I think I saw 2017. Could that it's be? It's an old one, yeah. 2017? Yeah. And so it's a very close version of what she did today, but you'll get like explanations and stuff if you'd like to recreate that project. Do you have something similar in your Global Belly shop? No, the only, I think I only have like the marbled fall leaves oh, for fall. Okay. Yeah. So let me show again, though, you guys, there is a discount code. Uh, the Global Belly uh, store is offering 20% off. The code is SPOOKY20 if you'd like to get 20% off and order. If you want to get kits for uh, Halloween, get your order in ASAP because uh, it needs time and to arrive. And it is from Global Belly, so you can uh, check out all our stores. You can just type Sweet Eggs Global Belly. Montreal Confections, Global Belly, Haniela's Global Belly, and you will find each of our stores there and look and get everything you see. Thanks, and thanks, you guys, for, uh, you know, there's so many of you. There's names we see every week. We appreciate you guys stopping in and spending an hour with us, and we yeah. hope that uh, we're... Those we are headed to the... To the yet. Hmm? I'm, I'm hoping that some of you that haven't taken the plunge yet this will be your year yeah try it I know. Yeah. Up, so but we hope we'll have some fun projects for you guys that you guys can also replicate at your you know home and um we'll see you on tuesday tuesday yes all, all right it's friday's already done almost <laughs> thanks everybody yes, bye See you Bye. next week. Have a great weekend. Bye.